The Taoiseach Simon Harris is being urged to intervene in the case of Jean Tai, a Cavan woman who disappeared in Lisbon in Portugal four years ago tomorrow. Ms Tai's family insists the Portuguese police have never properly investigated the mystery when there are questions too over the efforts of Irish authorities in helping find the missing woman. Our reporter Barry Lenehan has reported on this story several times and is with me now. So what's known about Jean Tai? The 38-year-old is from Munster, Connacht, outside. Virginia, described by her family as a free spirit. She travelled the world without issue. Now, she had mental health difficulties and went to Portugal four years ago to escape the harsh COVID lockdown of the time. But she was described by one of her roommates at the time of her disappearance as being very happy with life. Now, the Cavan woman was last seen at the Help Yourself Hostel outside Liz- Lisbon and Cascais on the afternoon of Monday, July 13th. 2020. A few days later, an Angolan man claiming to be Jean's boyfriend reported her missing and he died last year. Now back then in 2020, the local police in Kashkaish immediately opened a criminal investigation but the Thai family who mightn't hear from Jean for months, they weren't told about this until January 2021, six months later. And Portuguese authorities they only publicly listed Jean as a missing person last Last summer, three years later, through their own inquiries, the Thai family established how Jean booked a flight home the day before she disappeared and her mobile phone, it showed signs of life up to seven months after she was last seen, including responding to messages. The phone was last seen in the hand of a member of staff at the hostel outside Lisbon. All the rest of Jean's belongings were left behind the day she left, four years ago tomorrow. And so as the search for Jean goes on, it's another painful anniversary for her sister Leona. This is a very hard time for us because tomorrow is the fourth anniversary of Jean's disappearance. And I suppose, you know, since Jean disappeared, we've three new nieces and nephews and one another one on the way. And we miss her dreadfully. We're very heartbroken. We are absolutely heartbroken. We're devastated that it's now four years. No sign of Jean, no sign of any progress into what happened to Jean. You know, what happened? You know, if you had a sister who just disappeared, vanished overnight, you'd want to know what happened to her no matter what. But as I said, we've had weddings, no Jean, family occasions with no Jean, um, new members to the family and no Jean. And there is that constant void there, that constant absence, that loneliness, the sadness that there is no Jean. You know, we love her very much and we miss her terribly. Tomorrow I go to Mass and I light a candle and say a prayer that there is a breakthrough in the case for Jean and that, please God, we get her home some which way. It's it's just, a, I suppose, a quiet day for us. And then it's not a quiet day for my brothers and sisters who have their own families and will be busy tending to their young children. But, you know, Jean won't be there. You can really understandably hear the anguish in uh, her sister Leona's voice there. What's the latest in the police investigation of Jean's uh, disappearance, Barry? Authorities are still to check through Jean's banking records or her social media activity, including from the dating site Match.com, steps the Thai family believe would be vital in ascertaining what exactly happened. The Thai family say they haven't received an update from either Garzi or the Portuguese police in over six months. In August and November last, the Portuguese police sent what's called a rogatory letter to Gardaí. This is a formal and detailed request of assistance from the Portuguese police who say they're still waiting for information from Gardaí. However, Gardaí, for their part, say they forwarded all information they have on Jean Tai to the Portuguese authorities. And so the investigation appears stuck this evening. And Leona is now hoping Taoiseach Simon Harris will intervene and raise Jean case with the Portuguese Prime Minister, Luis Montenegro. There has been very little progress since the last time we spoke, Barry. Uh, We wrote a letter to the previous Taoiseach, Leo Radcar, who raised Jean's case with the Portuguese Prime Minister of the time. But this happened immediately before Leo Radcar resigned as Taoiseach and the Portuguese Prime Minister has since changed as well. The new Taoiseach has recently undertaken to raise Jean's case again. 
with the new Portuguese Prime Minister. So hopefully that will gain traction this time. We want the Taoiseach to reinforce the points that we have raised time and time again. There has been no progress on obtaining Jean's bank records, little progress on the social media accounts and footprint. And we need Jean's DNA records to be distributed to as many neighbouring countries as possible. We really need the Taoiseach now to keep pressure on the Portuguese authorities. I know the last time we spoke, Gardaí requested what's called a rogatory letter. This is this is a formal and a detailed request of assistance from the Portuguese police. And that that letter was provided back then. Um, any details on that or any update on that and whether uh, that rogatory letter um, led to anything? There has been no progress on that issue. The Portuguese authorities, they're still waiting on the information that they have requested through that rogatory letter. This is um, a blockage. This is causing a big blockage in the investigation into Jean's disappearance. The Gardaí and the Department of Just- Justice can certainly do more. We need a freer flow of information. We're really hoping that the new Taoiseach can help resolve these issues, help bring the parties together so that they can, you know, exchange the information between each other quickly. Can you believe you're still searching for basic information here on Jean? No, I can't. It's very distressing, to say the least. And it's very worrying. Tomorrow is the fourth year since Jean disappeared. This is our sister, our beautiful sister and we want to find out what happened to her no matter what and we're very worried very worried and distressed that these basic points of information haven't been teased out i spoke to you back in february i spoke on your show this time last year i'm no further on the investigation has not progressed that's very worrying it's worrying in a wider perspective you feel as well if anyone else was to god forbid go missing. I'm very worried at at the pace of the investigation. I'm very worried about the thoroughness of the investigation into Jean's disappearance, especially since we're all within the European Union now. You know, Jean was a young woman travelling by herself. Like, this is not fair on young travellers, on lone travellers, on young women who disappear. We need to make sure that they get a thorough investigation, that no stone is left unturned. So that, God forbid, if anybody else does disappear in the way that Jean disappeared, things will happen much more quickly. You know, the same mistakes won't be repeated again. Jean's sister Leona there. Now, there were also urgent calls in the Doyle this week for Simon Harris to get involved. And they came from Fianna Fáil, Cavan Monaghan, TD Brendan Smith. This week, I asked the Taoiseach to raise this matter again. I'm very glad that Deputy Harris has undertaken to raise it directly with his Portuguese counterpart. And we want answers to questions. A number of questions have been posed for a considerable length of time by the Thai family and by myself on their behalf in Dáil Erden and in written representations to Antonistia, the former Taoiseach, the Taoiseach, to officials in the Department of Justice and in the Department of Foreign Affairs. What we want answers to, did the Portuguese police access Jean's Facebook account or Instagram account? We all know that they are very important investigative tools today in searching for people who are missing? Did they access her bank accounts? Did they use the facility of the DNA screening? None of those questions have been answered. And to a lay person, they are basic and rudimentary aspects of searches that should be undertaken today. And of course, they should be cornerstone in comprehensive investigations. There's nothing to suggest to us that there has been a very vigilant diligent and comprehensive search and investigation carried out into Jean's disappearance. What happens next? In fairness, I think the, the, the Taoiseach will make those representations without delay. The Taoiseach will also follow this matter up again without delay. And I'm sure that both the Taoiseach and the Taoiseach will honour their commitment to me to follow up immediately with their counterparts in relation to Jean. And that's uh, TD from Fianna Fáil and Cavan Monaghan, Brendan Smith. Uh, Smith, what are the uh, Irish authorities saying this evening, Barry? The Department of Foreign Affairs says it continues to provide consular assistance to the Thai family. And Garda Siakona says it has forwarded all relevant information it holds on Jean Thai to Portugal and remains in a position to help the authorities there. 
The Department of Justice says it has received requests for information from the Portuguese authorities as part of their investigation and engagement is ongoing to ensure that the utmost assistance possible is provided. But final word to Leona Tai. Almost exactly four years to the day since her sister vanished, she says she won't stop fighting to find out what exactly happened. Well, we have to keep going because we have to get to the bottom of, you know, what happened, Jean. You know, we want to know what happened, Jean, no matter what. Like if it was your sister, sibling, best friend, niece that disappeared like this, you'd want to know what happened and to make sure that no stone was left unturned in the investigation into her disappearance. That's only fair to Jean and it's only fair to everybody else as well. We need to have faith in the process right now. You know, that's very hard. But I know that Jean deserves this. We love her so much and we miss her terribly. And we can't get, let this go until we get to the bottom of what happened to her. Jean is out there somewhere and we need to find her. That's Jean Ty's sister Leona ending uh, Barry Lenahan's report.